Hello everybody, this is just a quick trigger warning from me, this isn't the main video. Um, I talk about an eating disorder in this video. Um, so yeah, just a trigger warning for you guys, because I'd feel really irresponsible if I didn't put one in. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I feel, I'm a little bit down in this video, it's probably the most vulnerable thing I've ever posted on the internet. Um, but here we go, roll the tapes. Hi guys. Oh, the light's already annoying me. Hi guys. I know this is going to be a really strange video because I'm filming this on my laptop, but I'm really struggling with my skin and I just kind of wanted to do my skincare and chat about it because um, I know that lots of you probably are struggling with your skin at the moment if you follow me, like probably half the people struggle with their skin. I just thought it would be quite healing for me <laughs> to kind of just film it and chat about the way I'm feeling and like, I don't know, just kind of get it out. So I'm just going to get my skincare that I'm going to be using tonight. Because at the moment, I'll, I'll get into it, but the reason my skin is not doing great at the moment is because I'm purging, which is totally normal. Right, okay, I think I've got everything I need. Oh, let's go into my bathroom. Right, and I'm going to be sitting on the toilet seat. Do we need light in here, is the question. Is that better or worse? I feel like that's worse. I feel like I've turned on all the light, maybe, or maybe we do need the light on. Oh, I've got better idea actually. I think I'm just gonna put these selfie lights in the corner. And then we're just gonna do that, okay. So, just need to get my products. I obviously need to brush my teeth first, so we'll skip through this. So, let's chat. Let's, oh, I think we need to be coming a bit down. So, at the moment, my skin, I think, is purging. And this, like, unknown of whether, or oh, am I just actually breaking out or am I just purging? It's getting me very much in my head because obviously when you purge, you just break up more in the areas that you normally break out in. So as someone that is very focused on like healing that acne naturally, it's been a bit of a mind game for me. Um, and especially like going through so much to heal your skin to then, I don't know, to then doing something to try to help it even more and having to experience breakouts, which is normal because like we've all got a build up of like dead skin cells and stuff, especially if we're acne prone. And I know in my head it's normal. Um, but like when I know that I've worked so hard to be able to clear my skin and then I'm breaking out, I just, it doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> so. Yeah, tonight I was meant to be going out with my friend Alex. Um, it was like a really last minute thing. Basically, someone cancelled on her. She didn't want to go to this thing alone. She was like, you wouldn't go with me, would you? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go. And I got ready and I was so anxious getting ready. I'm just going to use the um, e.l.f. Holy Hydration Melting Balm. I was so anxious, like, because at the moment... Um, with my skin breaking out more it's really pain like you can already see this is huge here you'll see in a minute but like i've not really been feeling pretty um i've not really been wanting to go out without makeup on which obviously i haven't like it's so painful like i haven't felt like that in a long time um and I felt so anxious whilst I was getting ready that I literally just called my mum and I sat there and watched I'm a Celebrity. Like she turned the camera around and showed me then watch I'm a Celebrity. I didn't tell her that I was feeling anxious, but like I just get frustrated with myself that like I knew this was gonna happen. Like I literally wasn't using any actives before or anything that was exfoliating my skin. So I was going to have a purge when I started as a lake acid and everyone says, you know, it's so worth it, but I just, 
I feel like I was content enough before and I'm kind of am having regrets about it. But yeah, so I haven't really been wanting to go out much. Um, and also I feel like this is just like a body image thing in general. But lately I've just not really been feeling happy within my body. Like I've always struggled with my body image. And this is something I've never talked about. But in... Like, I've always, since, like, a young age, struggled with the way I look. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I, just, I don't know. I kind of want to, I don't know, get off my chest. Like, when we were in lockdown in 2020, I really struggled with an eating disorder. Never went to the doctors, obviously couldn't. It was COVID. Do you know why I'm getting upset? I actually never talk about it. I, like, never talk to my family about it. Like, it's never really a topic that's discussed. But yeah, so basically what happened was my skin started to get really bad at the start of lockdown. And because of that, I was, go I went vegan. I watched someone called Cassandra Banks Bankson Bankston, who was vegan. And I obviously didn't go about it the right way that I would now. Like, I was eating, you know, vegan chicken nuggets and think they were going to heal my skin compared to normal chicken nuggets. Like... It wasn't anything revolutionary that I was doing for my body. And when doing that didn't help and my skin was just getting worse, I kind of felt like I was just ugly and no one would ever like love me because of my skin. So I at least had to have an amazing body. And my warped perception of an amazing body was just being as skinny as possible. But anyway, so obviously having that eating disorder and hardly eating and exercising all the time because I'd also started a fitness Instagram. Um, obviously this wasn't good for my skin at all and my skin was just going down and down and down and down like everything was out of whack. And yeah, so the moral of that story is that I've always really struggled with my body image and today I was meant to be going out with my friend, I was getting ready and I feel like lately, I know this is such a sensitive topic, like I literally should have put a trigger warning at the start, um, but I just felt like I'd put on a lot of weight, which I probably haven't, it's probably just because I'm feeling low that I feel like that. Yeah, my confidence was just really low and I started to feel really anxious. Yeah, I don't really know. I feel like this is the most depressing video ever. I feel like I need to get it off my chest. And I honestly feel like acne can affect so many parts of your life. Like, where you feel like you have to be better in so many different areas to compensate for it. But you don't have to compensate for anything. Like, you're, you're amazing just the way you are. And I know that when I say it to other people. But it's just so hard to take that advice yourself. Um... I'm just gonna use the hyaluronic acid cleanser from the inky list. My skin is just so bumpy and painful. It's so frustrating. I'm just drying my face now. My skin is so painful. <sighs> God, I think I need to show you how much it's breaking out. I don't know if you can see, but this is like a huge cyst. All around my chin, all under my jaw. It's just not nice, is it? It is just not nice. I'm going to firstly use some Omega Water Cream. Actually, I think I need to put on my pimple patches. I'm gonna use some of the Zit Sticker Goo Getter patches. I have so many of the Zit Sticker things. They sent over some. Oh, these are undercover ones that you wear in the day. You know when you have a cyst and it's really itchy? It's like, what am I supposed to do with you? I'm gonna use some of the neutralizing gel. I hope this wasn't a super depressing video. I mostly just wanted to film it for the people that watch me, that struggle with their skin, so they know that they're not alone. Um, and not every single day is a clear skin day, even when like you've managed to clear your skin and stuff. Like 
you're still going to be affected by skincare products you know if you're stressed you're going to break out i feel like this is a mixture of things i feel like like because i've been using new skincare and like potentially breaking out from that i've kind of slacked on the foods i've been eating because like i couldn't tell what my breakouts were from whereas like if i'm eating bad and then i break out i'm like come on millie like you don't want this to be happening but like because i've not been sure i think mentally i've kind of used that as a bit of an excuse which is fine but yeah i'm just gonna use my amiga water cream And that is basically me done. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted this to be a reminder that like, none of you are alone. Like, even when you go through my page and like, I'm telling you things you can do to help your skin. Like, I don't want you to think that I don't struggle with my skin still. Because personally, I'm always going to trust information from someone that actually struggles with what I'm going through from like a mental health point of view and also just like them getting it. Um, but yeah, I am a very acne prone person and I probably always will be. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I kind of want to do about this azelaic acid thing. I might talk to Dr. Sam about it and tell her like, how kind of badly I'm purging and like if there's anything I can do about it <sighs> but yeah I love you all um I don't know if I'll actually end up posting this it feels a bit vulnerable like I've talked about some really like triggering topics but I just wanted to let you all know that I'm a human too I have emotions too My flat is so noisy, but this is a banging song. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go now, but I love you.